So, so let's do a recap. Right, let me just make sure that we've traded away everyone here. Um, zero years left. Uh, Bartek, I have got to sign. Arbstrider, we've got to sign. Uh, Olsen, we're not trading those guys. Those are our young rookies that we just didn't sign. All right, Subban and Burn, yeah, yep. All right, so we've gotten everyone that we need now, boys. All right, we still have some space on our team, so let's go into free agency and just sign up some young prospect rookies. Uh, unrestricted free agents. Uh, Gourmet Morris. Yeah, we'll sign this guy. He's got an A- minus for the offensive category. Sure. We'll give him 7.50. There you go. Uh, Fafard. See this guy? Yeah, we can sign him. There you go. And he's actually 77 overall, so we're getting him right before he turns into a one-way contract kind of guy. So that's perfect. All right, another defenseman, Peter Granberg. Defensive? Nah, it doesn't have the greatest defensive categories. Uh, Tolpeco? No, thank you. Megan, no thank you. Nickel, no thank you. Jarvis, no thank you. Callahan, no thank you. Hardy, no thank you. Hall, no thank you. All these guys have B minuses. Jesus. Playmaker, no. 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 Okay, there's not really anybody else that I uh, have my eyes on there. And Jacobson, I already tried to sign this guy, right? I think I already did. Yeah, Tampa Bay, yep. Uh, Cotton, and I already tried to sign Cotton. Alright, so that's everybody. So let's simulate. Alright, let's go to the end, let's go and check out our lines, and then I'll do a, uh, a whole wrap-up of the players that we got, alright? And we'll check out the line. So, Jacobson, so we got that other goaltender prospect, very good. Cotton, another goaltender prospect. Uh, Gourmet Morris, another guy, and Farfart. So, everyone that we wanted to sign, we got. We have 41 players under contract, $1.475 million of cap space, alright? And we've done a miniature rebuild. Monaghan, Galchenyuk, uh, Lafontaine, uh, Graves, and who was the other guy? Graham, the defenseman, all gone from our team. And we've replaced them with players who are about two or three years younger on two-way contracts that hopefully in two or three years' time will turn out to be the same type of player, all right? And we also picked up, I don't know, three first-round picks, a third-round pick. So, yeah, we have... Even though our team is still amazing, we've done a little rebuild here so that once our older guys have to be traded away, well, guess what? We have prospects in the system that will be ready. So the GM who's taken over for me next year, he's going to have a lot of options. Not next year. Um, at, the end of, uh, at the end of year 10 kind of thing, all right? So now that that's done, let's go to our roster moves. And let's get everyone on the team that we want. So, Bernier and Subban. Subban is still going to be our number one starter in the AHL. Actually, should it be Cotton? No, no, it should be this Jacobson guy. Ooh, I think I should give Jacobson the shot down there. No, no, I want Malcolm Subban because he gets more experience if he starts every game in the AHL. Yeah, I'll bring up this Cotton guy. Uh, I can't bring him. Give me a break right now. Hang on a sec. Bull, you send you down right now for now. Hang on a sec. Let me just... Mess this stuff around. Cotton, you come up. Subban, you go down. There you go. And that'll save some salary cap space right there. Bull, you, you come up. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So those, those are our six defensemen. Very nice. Right wingers. Uh, Sorensen, no, you don't have a place on the team. Lemieux, you do. Uh, Nielsen, no. Uh, little Richie. Little Richie. <laughs> uh, Harper, a golden. No, I don't, don't have room for Harper yet. I know the team. Hang on. Let me just make sure I know. I get everyone that I need. Centers. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm pretty sure that's everyone now. I can't send anyone else. Oh, I can send. Hang on. I have one too many players up on the team. Hang on. Uh, it was Rahak. Yeah, I don't need Rahak just yet. That was it. Yeah, okay. So, we got our team. Now, hang on, hang on. Let me just, uh, just do best lines. I'm not going to go into the line changes just yet because I want to give you guys the recap of who we traded for, all right? So, hang on a sec. Auto save, of course. So I'm going to go to contracts because there was two guys that we have to sign still. All right, the two guys that we got in the, the deal. Uh, Arbstrider and Bartek, so we're going to sign these guys right now, all right. Two-way contracts for three years. Very nice. Arbstrider's on the team. All right. And who else was it? Bartek. There you go. Very nice. All right. Uh, all right, so everyone's on the team. Goalies. Yeah, everyone's on the team. This Olsen and Pin, uh, Pinol guy, they can uh, they don't they don't get contracts just yet. All right, so I'm just gonna go back to trade players just to show you guys who we picked up. Okay, so I forget exactly who we traded for who. You guys can go back and watch it, but uh, we picked up Dag as our prospect goalie of the future. 
All right, 19 years old, BBA for potential, 74 overall. He's on a two-way contract, all right? I really like his age, so that's our goalie prospect that we picked up. Defensive prospects, we picked up this Bartek guy. All right, Philip Bartek, two-way defenseman, 19 years old. B minus BEB, so another 19-year-old with good potential. Uh, Arm Strider, a 20-year-old, all right? Another good guy, uh, six foot four, two-way defenseman. B, B minus B, all right? So Bartek and Arp Strider, two great defensive prospects that we picked up. Pody, another defensive prospect that we picked up. Uh, defensive defenseman, A, B minus, A minus. All right, so there's three defensive prospects. Uh, Kalus, I think we picked up. No, 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 Kalus is already on our team, right? Kalus is already on our team. Uh, Hacken was already on our team. Yeah, so it's just those three guys. Pody, Arp Strider, and uh, Bartek, all right? Two 20-year-olds and a 19-year-old. Two of them are signed to three years, and uh, Pody's signed for another two years, all right? So Ekman Larson's contract is coming up in two years. We may not have to sign him because he's going to want six or seven mil for sure. Uh, Right-wingers, we got this Nelson guy. All right, who's a right wing sniper? A minus B B. All right, very good. Uh, Sorensen, we already had him on our team. Left wingers Hendry, another sniper. So we have two winger, two winger snipers. Nineteen years old. A minus A minus B. All right, so those two snipers right there, they are snipers of the future for us. Alongside, like we guess, uh, Len Little. All right, so there's two prospect forwards, and then Germain, a nice power forward prospect uh, for the third or fourth line of the future, all right? B minus B, A, all right? Uh, was that everyone? Yeah, so we had three forward prospects, a power forward, two snipers, three defensive prospects, a goalie prospect, and we also picked up two first round picks from Colorado and Dallas, all right, and a third round pick for Florida. So... Yeah, we traded away those guys, but boys, I think I think it would made a lot of sense. All right, we've completely rebuilt our team, and in two or three years, uh, we have players again who are ready to come up. Okay, so that's what you do with those tender qualifying offers that you just can't sign. Don't let other teams come along and and steal them by uh, by them sending qualifying off or offer sheets. Sorry, don't let them do that. Trade them away for players so that you know who you have in your system. All right, and if we do best lines, I'm not going to do the line changes right now because I want your input. All right. But if I could just do a little bit of a mock line change right now, it's going to be uh, Lofthouse. Well, actually, remember when we put Nugent Hopkins alongside of Stamkos last year? They really started to click, all right? Actually, I'll just let me set up the lines the way they were last year. Hang on. Uh, Granlin, Sagan, Connolly. Uh, yeah, because LaFontaine's not here anymore. It Golden, uh, Lemieux, and Richie on the fourth line. Shen, Little, yeah, Little, little instead of uh, Monaghan now, or instead of uh, LaFontaine. Lofthouse in the center, all right, Shen on the wing, all right, so there we go, there's the lines as they were last year, okay, so what should be ch changed around here, I think Dustin Brown, because he's kind of winding down on our team, I want to give the other guys some chance, I want to bring him down to the third line, and Braden Shen, because he may not be a part of our team next year if he wants a lot of salary, um, he may be a player that just walks away from our team, but that's okay, uh, because I want to win the Stanley Cup again this year, and he's someone who can help us win the Cup, we're going to put him in the center, all right, and then Loftos maybe up on the right wing uh, alongside Nugent Hopkins and Stamkos. Or maybe, because everyone keeps putting Granlin down, give him first line honors, see what he can do on the first line. Bring Loftos down with Sagan and Connolly. Or Little up on the first, oh, Little up on the first line with uh, Nugent Hopkins and uh, Stamkos. All right, then Sagan, Connolly, and Lofthouse maybe. All right, there's plenty of different options here, boys. So go nuts in the comments. We know what the defensive lineups are going to be. We're going to keep them the same. The two Super Swedes, Bolu, Shattenkirk, and then Bison and Fenske on the third. And then you guys can go nuts with the power play and penalty kill as well, okay? Bernie Mac gets to start. So we know what the uh, we know what our NHL team is going to look like. Um, and our AHL team, I'll do the line changes in the next video as well. All right, boys. So let me know how GM Superman did with those trades. I know I only supposed to have one offseason trade, but we didn't trade for NH any NHL starters. We were cleaning up our roster. So that's why I was able to do it. All right, boys. So let me know and let me know about the line changes that we should implement going into year seven. Last year was a disappointing year. No excuses this year. I'm giving everyone a second chance. If we don't produce this year, you're going to see different players starting next year. All right. So Give me some good lineup, boys. Give me some good lines.